Yeah, I'm just telling myself, you know, just keep it simple. Hit the ball hard, you know, low line drives. I like to compete. You know, it's uh, their best versus our best, and uh, you know, I like when we win. There's a lot to learn from seeing the home run swing of an MVP player like Mike Trout. Let's dig in to find out how you can build your best swing and hit the ball deep. One of the key reasons behind Mike's ability to hit the ball out of the park is his high bat speed, 99 miles per hour. Let's look at his hitting mechanics. He does an incredible job of moving his body in a sequence that allows him to use his big muscles to take his small muscles to the ball. Once he is in his batting stance, the first move is his load. It starts with a gathering of his hips on his backside and he coils a bit inward. Notice how his weight goes up against his back foot, but not over. Once loaded, Mike begins his second move, the stride forward. During his stride, he leads with the lower half of his body. He keeps his hands back to create separation between his hands and his front shoulder and hip. Third, he uncoils with his front hip when he plants his foot, or what we call the foot strike. This helps him hold and store his weight to be ready to explode to the ball. Fourth, he starts his swing with his back knee and elbow and gets his hands into his connection point. His upper body and lower body begin to work in sync. Most of the speed and power is coming from his legs and upper torso, allowing his arms and hands to focus on controlling the bat and getting the barrel to the ball. A great drill to help teach your body to get into sequence and produce high bat speed is the step back drill in the training center. Do the step back drill and compare your swing video to Mike's home run swing video in the face on view. Do this drill over and over. You should see that it helps you generate bat speeds at the upper range of your level. Once you have sound mechanics to start your swing and it comes naturally, you can now think about how your bat barrel should attack the ball. You know, when I'm going good and uh, you know, just feeling where the barrel's going to the baseball, you know, it's, it's always big. He's talking about the attack angle of his bat, meaning the path of his barrel as it approaches the ball. It's simple. The baseball pitch comes down on negative angle. In order to match the incoming pitch, the hitter's attack angle has to be positive. By matching the angle of his bat early, Mike can stay on the incoming pitch for a long period of time, giving it a big zone for success. To create a big zone to hit line drives, a good attack angle should always be in the range of positive 5 to positive 20. For great line drives, positive 8 to 12 is best. To hit the ball in the air and possibly out of the park, your attack angle should be in the positive range of 20 to 25. But be careful of going higher you don't want to swing up too much on the ball. If you do, you'll swing out of the hitting zone way too early and be the player who has a few too many whiffs. To improve and get a better feeling for your attack angle, go to the ZEP training center and try the fungo drill. Start with the ground ball you chop down on. You will most often see a negative attack angle. Then try to hit a line drive. Now let's try to go deep. Let's focus on what we learned from Mike Trout's swing. Work from the ground up to produce high bat speed. Focus on getting behind the ball early and trying to get a higher attack angle. If you make contact a little further in front of your stride foot, you should see the ball take off. There's a lot to learn from seeing the home run swing of an MVP player like Mike Trout, but this is a great start. Get the right mental approach. Work hard on building the right mechanics. Then learn how to give yourself a big hitting zone to attack the ball. Remember, Hitting is the hardest thing to do in sports. That is why we work so hard to be ready for the perfect moment. Follow this format and your batting average should improve. And when you get your best pitch, you'll know what to do to bring your best swing and set yourself up to hit a homer.